Hello everyone, and in this video, I will be going over input. And for this, we're going to be creating a new class, and this class is going to be used by our window class. So the input class is going to hold everything. It's going to interact with the window class for one, but it's also going to allow us to check whether a key is down, a mouse is down, or maybe a button on the joystick has been pressed. And it's also going to give us information like where the mouse is, are we going are we going to hide the mouse if we need to? Stuff like that without having the window get mixed up with most of the input. Now we would be using uh, a glfw key callback but every time I seem to use it even if the invoke method right here is blank the callback always seems to fail on me so I'm just going to avoid that alright so I'm going to start off creating an input class an input is going to take a window and it's also going to have a private window so that way it can keep the value okay Oops. so not that the window has been set the reason why input is going to be needing the window is so it can get the window long variable in here where we have this variable right here the input class is going to be needing this or actually we can just we can just change this to long window that'd be better okay so once we start we can create a public boolean is key down and this is going to take an int key so we're just going to create a basic one and in the next video we'll go more advanced with the key down stuff okay so glfw um oh that's why import static Make sure you import glfw. So glfw get key and we'll pass in window and key. So this will return an integer right here. Much like the should window close method back in the window class, we're going to return this variable equal to 1 1 being true so if this method returned 1 and it's equal to 1 then it's going to return true I'm going to copy this and paste it for the mouse and I'll just say if is mouse button down int button And the method here is going to be glfw get mouse button instead of get key. And this should return the mouse button. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to have a private input. And we can just call it i or input and when we create the window is when we can create the input variable here so I'll just put it at the end so after glfw make context current I'll set input to a new input passing in the long variable 
How did I forget that? Okay. All we need now is a getter for this. So public input get input return input. So now all we can all we have to do is change this here where we have glfw get key and the key escape thing it's where we close the window if you press escape go ahead and get rid of whatever is in that if statement and re and use when get input is key down and then glfw key escape okay so now if we run this we should be able to press escape and it closes but what if we want to see what if we want to use whether the mouse button was down so is mouse oh, is mouse button down and we'll go with left click left click is zero right click is one and two is when you press down the button in the middle the scroll button where you can scroll up and down obviously the scroll wheel you press that down that's the second value right there so now we can run and when we click the program exits well i hope you enjoyed and in the next video We'll get into more advanced stuff with our input class. So basically, we'll be able to get if the key was down for one frame. Or if the key was up for one frame. So if the key was down, and it was like if you hold down a key, it would return true for one frame. Now this would be good if you had like a GUI and you had to type stuff in. So that that's what that would be useful for. So, I'll see you in the next video.